paraphrase the extremely underrated pot will eat itself, Augusta, Georgia, late September, and one Mr. James Brown is hot-tempered. The Godfather of Soul had been on a downward spiral during the 80s, a time that saw James Brown and PCP become very good friends, allegedly. And it all came to a head on September the 24th, 1988, when James Brown went loco and ended up brandishing a firearm while being chased by the FBI. James Brown and the law had been increasingly at odds during the 80s. In 1987, the year previous, he had been arrested on multiple occasions for assault, speeding, resisting arrest and possession of PCP. But on this day in 1988, he stepped up his game. An incredibly wired James Brown burst into an office complex during an insurance seminar, waving a shotgun around and screaming that strangers were using a toilet in a building he owned. Someone in attendance called the police, as you would, and James Brown jumped in his pickup truck and drove off at high speed. The resulting pursuit would see troopers chase James Brown across the Georgia state line, resulting in the FBI getting involved, James Brown driving like something out of a heist movie and swerving around roadblocks, having his tyre shot out in a parking lot and speeding away on the rims, before ending up slamming his truck into a ditch and finding himself handcuffed and in some very serious shit. So serious, in fact, that he ended up with a six-year prison sentence for his troubles. But was it all as cut and dried as it seems? There can be no doubt that James Brown was whacked out of his gourd, but both Brown and his then wife have gone on record stating that the reason he ran was because he was convinced that the police were trying to kill him. Talking about the incident to the Reverend Al Sharpton, James Brown said, I never fired at them or even pointed a gun in their direction, and they still shot at me over and over again. While in an FBI report released in 2007, it was stated that a policeman began kicking the vehicle door and hitting the vehicle with the butt of his gun. This resulted in a window being broken. Because of this violence, Brown decided to remain in his vehicle. He then locked the vehicle. Brown stated that he was in fear for his life. A policeman then shot and hit Brown's truck at least eight times and another policeman shot approximately nine times at the tyres and hood. Other shots were also fired. Brown later counted the bullet holes in his truck and these totaled 23. Two of these shots hit the gas tank and the tyres were flat. Brown became very afraid. Because of this fear, Brown started up his vehicle and drove away on the flat tyres. But what do you think? Did James Brown go on a very ill-advised pcp fueled rampage, or was there more to it? And were the police intent on making an example of the Godfather of Salt? Sound off in the comments section and let us know.